This is Mouse Trap from Exidy, originally released to the arcades in 1981. We're watching the ColecoVision version released in 82 or 83. Previously, I reviewed the Atari 2600 Mouse Trap game, which isn't nearly as good as this one. The ColecoVision version of Mouse Trap is dynamite. And this is a tough game, a fun game, yet another one of many Pac-Man clones. This one is featured in my definitive Pac-Man guide. As a recommended Pac-Man clone, there's so many of these, but I like Mousetrap and the subtle and not so subtle differences between this one and the Man of Pac. The biggest difference, in addition to the maze and the doors, is that you have control over when you use power pellets. And, and that doesn't sound like a big difference until you play the game and realize it's huge. Because strategically you can use that to your advantage when you want to charge into a part of the maze and eat dots or eat the cheese and gobble up a bunch of cats while you're at it because the, the power pellets, they're not called power pellets. I don't have the manual, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're power pellets. The power pellets turn your mouse into a dog which eats cats. Never actually seen a dog eat a cat before. But the urban legend is that dogs eat cats. But they sure do in this game. And when playing Mousetrap on the ColecoVision, you'll use the keypad to open the doors. There's a button for the yellow, the red, and the blue door. And the middle button on the keypad activates your dog power pellet. That takes some getting used to. One opens the red door, two opens the yellow, and three is the blue. Mousetrap is a bit like Lock and Chase mixed with Ladybug mixed with Pac-Man. All these games are good. I'm doing a lot of research on Pac-Man games right now. And I like this one. It's not one of my favorites, but it's pretty clever. And then there's the hawk, which is like Evil Otto from Berserk. It flies over the maze and eats your mouse if it catches it. I have seen hawks eat things. That, that's true. Those, those, they're mean. If you're smaller than a hawk, man, you're screwed. Smurfs. T tough luck. It's not Gargamel you have to watch out for. It's hawks. Oh no, I forgot to activate my dog power up. It's actually not the cats that you have to watch out for in this game, it's the hawk, because there's nothing you can do to stop the hawk. Your mouse does not have surface-to-air missiles, which is a shame. That would be a super cool mouse. The hawk is indestructible, so you just have to run away from it while also avoiding the cats and trying to clear the maze and collect the bonus items. It's a good game, and a great ColecoVision release because as you can see this looks so much better than the Atari one which did not even include the hawk, and that's one of the like main points of the game is avoiding the hawk. When you increase the difficulty, the, the game itself doesn't change, just the ferocity and intelligence of the hawk. It doesn't just fly around randomly going dun, dun, dun. it actually like seeks you out and then, you know, eviscerates you because you're a mouse. And that's how hawks roll. <laughs> Mousetrap is like most of these old school ColecoVision games, super cheap and easy to collect. I like Ladybug a little bit more, but Mousetrap is, has grown on me. <laughs> this one is so much better than the Atari release. And like I said, it's in my definitive Pac-Man guide, which is coming out mid-November 2017. Hunt that one down if you like Pac-Man, you'll love this. Follow me as an author on Amazon to be alerted when hawks are about to eat you. Not sure that's how it works. Doesn't matter. Mousetrap is a fun game. If you like ColecoVision, you want this in your collection. The controls can be tricky because you have to memorize which buttons open what doors. Especially when the game starts moving really fast. Also, unlike Pac-Man, this one requires a bit more precision when trying to navigate the maze, and that can be tough. But on the whole, I do like this one and recommend it. Mouse 
trap for your ColecoVision. Classic Game Room has been brought to you by the ultra-massive video game console guide 230 pages of video games on amazon.com retro megatrex and how to make a video game review show that doesn't suck and jesus number two welcome to the patreon lord carnage club being shouted from a turbo volcano Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.